Hey everybody, it's Mark Edward Lewis from Cinema Sound. I'm here in Cinema Sound Studio B. You know, on the Cinema Sound store, we released a few months ago Adobe Premiere Pro presets. Wow, that's hard to say, Adobe Premiere Pro presets. For audio, and I created hundreds of these presets so that the independent audio creative could, with a simple drag or a simple click, have access to wildly complicated but super useful settings in Adobe Premiere Pro for their audio, whether it's cleaning up dialogue or making music punchy or whatever. And it, people have been having amazing results using these presets, but I wanted just to give you a couple of examples of how it could work for you, and if you already have the presets, maybe some ideas as to how you can apply them in your timelines. Let me show you. All right, we're in Adobe Premiere Pro with a very, very simple sequence, just a simple video track and an accompanying stereo audio track where we've recorded this lavalier on L directly to the camera, just because it's simple. And we're gonna show you some really cool down and dirty ways of using the Cinema Sound Adobe Premiere Pro presets just on this audio track to kind of give you a feel for what's possible and how easy it is to use. So first, we're just gonna take a listen to this good situation but it's it's getting out of that and reclaiming your life and and moving on is is where the strength and the challenge comes from and that's where your true character shows and so it would be cool to see something of growth. So it's recorded at a reasonable level. It's peeking out up here around minus six. And it's, you know, it sounds a little, it sounds fine. It's not great. It's just, you know, directly raw off a of lavalier. So it's going to have a little bit of honkiness to it. A lot of dynamic range because it's uh, omnidirectional. So let's look at these presets. So loading presets into Premiere Pro is super easy. You can right click or control click here and import your presets uh, however you want and they show up. So in this case, we're going to click the triangle, and here's the Cinema Sound audio presets. We'll click on those, and there they are. You have um, several sets of them, combinations of plugins put together, strictly EQs, strictly expanders, limiters, multi-band compressors, and single-band compressors. So let's just start with the combos. And as you can see, there's just a few of them here, and these are all uh, grouped into dialogue, general, uh, general mix, music, and sound effects. Now you can use these any old way you want in any fashion, but uh, we generally figure that you know the, the bread and butter ways that we use these kinds of combinations sort of break down in this way. So let's just play. This first one up here is, a real, is one of my favorites, which is Bad Phone. So we'll just play. Situation, but it's it's getting out of that and reclaiming your life and, and moving on is is where the strength and the challenge. That's a bad phone, and you can see what's happened over here. We've been able to that simple preset was uh, this uh, parametric equalizer and a cool setting from the guitar suite that's built into Premiere Pro. So that's super super useful comes from and that's where your true character shows. And uh, we'll undo, and then let's drag cops in there. And so, it would be cool to see something of growth. Uh, sort of like, instead of just a bad phone, it's actually more like a squawk, you know, from their, from their uh, you know, radios or, or whatever. Um, and then we have some various actresses in here that uh, may be very subtle for you to hear on headphones, or, uh, but check it out. So here's her normal. Your life and, here's and moving on is, is where the strength and the challenge comes from, and that's where your true character shows. And with that? And so it would be cool to see something. There's a lot more body to that sound, sort of in that Kate Blanchett sound. And here's uh, Kathy Zeta Jones. Of growth um, with Harley, since the fans obviously loved her. Um, there's still so much. Again, that body's there, but some of that upper mid range has been carved out, kind of like her voice sounds. Let's see, what else have we got? Here's just a general edgy female combination. It's getting out of that and reclaiming your life and, and moving on is, is where the strength and the challenge comes from. And that's where you're. And although you're going to get more noise, um, which you can always fix, um, you're going to get a lot more edge, and that's going to definitely punch its way through the mix. Let's see. Oh, let's just try James Earl Jones on her. Let's see what happens. It's getting out of that and reclaiming your life and, and moving on is, is where the strength and the challenge comes from. She doesn't actually have lows in her voice, but you can hear it down there going <laughs> down there. So if you had this on a male voice, it'd be pretty awesome. We have Lily uh, Tomlin. Let's see what she sounds like. And that's where your true character shows. And so 
it would be cool to see something of growth um, with Harley. One ringy dingy, yeah, totally. Uh, let's see what else we got. Now we can drop her into the next room if we like. Totally. If they're in the next room, that's what you would drop on as a background. And then we can add silvery sibilance. Reclaiming your life and, and moving on is, is where the strength and the challenge comes from, and that's where your true character shows. And one of the great things about these combos is that we've spent a lot of time making sure that, on the whole, they sound good no matter what happens. You know, you may not quite get exactly the result that you want, but you can always move over here in the effects controls and mess around with them. And in this case, we used a multiband compressor to really control the high frequencies. And so, it would be cool to see something of growth um, with Harley, since the fans obviously loved her. And that's a super useful plug-in to have dropped in there. Plus, we've used this EQ and added a little high contour boost. And sometimes when you add high frequencies like this and you don't add some kind of DS or multi-band compression, you know, you get, it gets a little too much. In fact, let's just turn off the multi-band compressor for a second. Um, there's still so many other types of characters that can be... Um, that can be shown um, as far as like Wonder Woman's. It's, you know, it's really, really sibilanty, but with the multi band compressor put in. Types of characters that can be, um, that can be shown um, as far as like Wonder Woman's. I Not only is it brighter, but you don't have anything that's sticking out at you, which is why the combo section is so. Super cool. I'm going to undo, undo. All right, so these are combos. There's so many great in here, great ones in here. I mean, I could spend a whole day showing you, going through each one of these, and maybe I will in future uh, education. So here's EQs. Now, this is just EQ by itself. So here's Dialogue Female Boost. Let's go back. Reclaiming your life and, and moving on is, is where the strength and the challenge comes from, and that's where your true character shows. It kind of has a real kind of edge honk to it that might cut through a mix if you needed it. By the way, this is what she originally sounded like. so it would be cool to see something of growth um, with Harley, since the fans Female obviously cut. loved her. Um, there's still so many other types of characters that can be, um, that can be shown. Female um, edge? As far as... Like Wonder Woman's, I, I love her, but she's not very relatable. Um, I think. Female smooth. It's getting out of that and reclaiming your life and, and moving on is, is where the strength and the challenge comes from. And that's where your true character shows. And then um, what I'm really excited about, the thing that's so cool is, you know, I get a lot of questions, you know, how do I do that digi the distance to camera mixing stuff? You know, when it's close, when it's far, you know, how do I know what settings to use? And we've built them in here with the EQ. And you can see the DTC, close up, uh, extreme close up, far, medium, and then actually cool notches. Let me, I'm just going to do a little cut up here and show you what I'm talking about. It's just, you know, faux. We're going to digital zoom in and out, but see if you can feel the vibe. All right, so I've got a little cut that just, you know, very silly, just moving through, you know, just digital zoom so you can get an idea of what's going on here. So here we're going to leave her medium close up alone, and then this we'll call this a uh, close up. And then we'll call this extreme close up. And then she's back to normal, and then we'll call this medium. And then we'll call this far. And then she'll go back to normal here. All right, let's see how this sounds. The character shows. And so it would be cool to see something of growth um, with Harley, since the fans obviously loved her. And because when she's going far, we'd probably just pull the volume down on her a little bit like this. Where your true character shows. And so it would be cool to see something of growth um, with Harley since the fans obviously loved her. So you can do this digital, distance to camera mixing thing so much easier with these presets. Just drag them in and then just control your volume and you're great to go. Let's check out some more cool stuff here. These are expanders and especially if you're in a noisy room, sometimes you either don't have the processing power or whatever to get expansion done right. And that's basically pulling down the sound once the dialogue stops. Let's just take an easy clean room setting we're going to drop this in here, and it gives us this cool thing here. So many other types of characters that can be, um, that can be shown um, as far as, 
Like Wonder Woman's, I, I love her, but she's not very relatable. Notice how clean that is as opposed to how it was. So many other types of characters that can be, um, that can be shown um, as far as... You can really hear a lot of noise going on in the background. So lots of fun things and including some pretty draconian settings. Let's see what else we have. Limiters for your mix, um, which I won't get into now. And then multi-band compressor settings, um, which are really, really complicated. We talk about it on the Cinema Sound Education all the time. But um, if you want to manage the lows and the highs of your sound, instead of just using a straight single band compressor, you've got all of these. All right, let's try a knife edge. And some of the multi-band compression settings can actually feel like EQ, but they have a lot more balance to them. Um, there's still so many other types of characters that can be... Um that can be shown. And um, then let's show Roar. As far as, like Wonder Woman's, I, I love her, but she's not very relatable. Siblings? Um, I think there could be more, more relatable characters to girls every day. But it also feels really, really, you know, nice and smooth. And then uh, let's see, last but not least is single band compressors. And for those people who have been asking me about how do I do cascading compressors to create that super smooth dialogue feel, I have them built in right here. Just drag them in. And you can see over here, you've got two single band compressors working in series. Um, that can be shown um, as far as like Wonder Woman's, I, I love her, but she's not very relatable. Um, I think there could be more, more relatable characters. Super nice and smooth. You don't hear any of the compression or any of these kind of artifacts. There's so many other great plugins in here and organizations of those plugins. So there are hundreds of these presets available, singles, mults, and you can combine them together and create all kinds of great results. Come to the cinemasound.com forum and ask questions if you want to use them in different ways, or if you don't have the presets yet, come to the store, Download them, get them for yourself, start using them, and get that Hollywood unfair competitive advantage into your productions today. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if it's for yourself.